Oh, Professor Sada. All right, we got a speed boost. And it doubles as a headbutt. Now that's a good upgrade. Oh, well, they weren't too tough. But they got slick to evolve. That's derpy looking. Claude Sire. Okay, I kind of like it. It's just as doofy as Quagsire, but with a very different body shape, and I kind of love it. Claude Sire. Ah, I missed its deck sentry. I'll have to go back in and look. Claude Sire. When attacked, this Pokemon will retaliate by sticking thick spines out from its body. It's a risky move that puts everything on the line. Alright, that's interesting. And I never read Cloth Sentry either. Cloth hangs upside down from cliffs, waiting for prey. But Cloth can't remain in this position for long because blood rushes to its head. Okay then. Just little stony idiots. Well, I got a TM. Metronome. Not bad. And would you look at this. I was wondering when I'd find one of these guys. Alright, gimme ghoul. Come here. I'm gonna catch ya. lower level than everything else here, so... Nest Ball. There we go. Gimme Ghoul caught. And Gimme Ghoul, the coin chest Pokemon. This Pokemon was born... <sighs> I did not get anywhere near enough sleep last night. This Pokemon was born inside a treasure chest about 1,500 years ago. It sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure. Hmm. I'm a name you bit. Because Bitcoin's just as dead. Ah, here we go. I was wondering when I'd encountered one of these. Small of tiny thing, ain't it? There we go. One more new species caught. Small of. It protects itself and, and it protects itself from enemies by emitting oil from the fruit on its head. This oil is bitter and astringent enough to make someone flinch. Hmm. That'd be an interesting ability. Just you get a physical attack in. Suddenly your opponent just says, 
Like, every attack having a slim chance to make the opponent flinch, basically. You'd never have to get bite or anything similar. It just happens. I doubt that's actually the ability they have, but it'd be cool. Looks to have two Evos. Ooh, Electro Ball, that's a good TM. Oh, damn. Did not expect a Gibble. Uh, Agni is a terrible choice for this fight. Now, what's this little thing? like a little pink chow with a club. That's a real interesting design. I can't wait to see what the sixth type is. Okay, it appears to be fairy type. I guess I should have expected that. Probably fairy steel. I guess we'll find out in a second. Okay, Tinka Tink, the metalsmith Pokemon, Fairy Steel. It swings its handmade hammer around to protect itself, but the hammer is often stolen by Pokemon that eat metal. Hmm. Well, I think I'll be fitting you into a team at some point. And... Yeah, I gotta. Welcome to the roster, Amy. Oh shit, drowsy. And of course, there's some gimmick goal in these ruins. Probably a couple others tucked around to grab. Gotta keep an eye out for them. You'd think these ruins would commonly have some ghost types when night falls, too. So far, I haven't found any signs of any. It's a little disappointing game's ghost type selection is a little slim so far. Pretty sure the only ones I've gotten have been repeats. And Gimmigool. Can't count out Gimmigool, but besides that, it's been largely repeats. Oh shit! Vespa Queen here? This early? I can take it. Get that paralysis in. And start dealing some damage. Mm, paralysis flinch combo is just so good. I've wasted a Great Ball and an Ultra Ball on this thing. I only saved five minutes ago. I'm going to revert my save. Well, 
Let's try this again. With a little extra power boost. Please work. Yes! Took two reverted saves, but I got the Vespa Queen. Now, I don't have to worry about struggling to find a female combi to evolve. I can just catch any random combi and I'm good. You know, seeing this huge open field wondering about potential ghost types in it. Oh, there's a female combi. Would have been nice to find that sooner. Yeah, just wondering about potential ghost types around here in these fields is just reminding me of the one I designed for my region that would be incredibly fitting here. Good evening, sir. Aerial Ace. Damn good TM. Hey, Heracross. Always good to see you. Definitely one of my favorite Johto Pokémon. Oh. Oh, hello, little one. And they just disappeared. Oh, damn. I did not know he could swim already. It's not fast, but he can. Oh, and there's the first gym. Guess I'll be headed there in a sec. Town seems to really love the Vivian. Not that I can really blame them. They're a good species. It's a very fun gimmick. Just be nice if they were more competitively viable instead of being kind of weak. Well, this place looks rather interesting. Big bug-type themed treehouse cafe with the battle platform for the gym up top. Hmm. That's interesting. I wouldn't have expected that to be up there. Actually, they've got multiple battle platforms here, so there's one up there and one here in the yard next to the gym. Why well, have two? Ah, oh, we got a few people in town actually speaking Spanish. Good. Oh, this is a nice shop. With a scissor in it? If you had experience power bug, I'd take that right now, but you don't seem to have it. Getting a lot of extra XP off bug types would be real good right next to the gym. Maybe I can look up a recipe for that real quick and use it before I take them on. Alright, let's check this gym out finally. Oh, and Nem's here. Yep. Hmm? Alright, let's see what this one is then. My team's already in good shape. This'll be easy. Oh, she's a little obsessive, ain't she? the test. Okay, fair. Okay. Guess I know where to go now. How far is this place? Probably not far at all, but...
Okay, just over here. Let's fucking book it, Colt. Okay, here it is. Yeah, let's get this done. I want to wipe this gym out in no time. Shouldn't be a challenge at all. Actually, the challenge might be accurately rolling this... Bob Long, motherfucker. It's got good physics, though. Bouncy. Very bouncy. I'm taking the trainer shortcuts. I'm going out of my way to beat every one of them just for the cash. Thank you. And another shortcut to open. You really think you got a chance when you just saw how badly your teammate got humiliated? I mean, really. Now, I'll admit, Venat is a nice choice. It's got a little extra coverage and some nice status moves. But it ain't good enough. By far. Thanks for the cash. I'm gonna step aside so I can finish this already. All too easy. Now to actually meet and take on your leader. Wow, suddenly a huge outbreak of fairy types here. Just Igglybuff, Jigglypuff, and... Fido everywhere. Ha! 
To the point it's very difficult to dodge them. I'm sorry, Fido, I've already got one of you. I'm good. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's fine. Be nice if you had a bit more of a presence before the gym, though. Oh. So you also run the shop downstairs, huh? Makes a good deal of sense. Oh, I'd like to see you try. But, newsflash. You're looking at the next champion. You don't have a chance in hell. Nimble, good choice. Got one myself. You say that, but I know Nimble doesn't have any moves that give you coverage against this. Switching. No way in hell. I think I'll just jump into this real quick. Because he's all I'm gonna need to sweep you. Who's your ace? Oh, you're gonna make a Teddy Ursa into a bug type with your terraform, huh? Well, I look forward to seeing how that works out. But you'd really be better off Staying a normal type and being able to survive this next attack. Oh. Of course that motif comes back. Oh. Well, I think this is sealed. Good attempt, but nowhere near enough. Hmm. Thanks for the XP. Now hand over that badge. Oh, that's nice. Ah, good move.
Well, that went well. But I've got one more gym battle I want to knock out today yet. Hmm. Yeah. Of course I did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I already know what Arvin's up to. And now, it's time for me to make my way back to the east to check out the second gym, which I'll be similarly sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> 